All right, this is grade three, module two, lesson eight, where uh, we're in, still going to be talking about measurement, but now we're going to be talking about word problems. And we're going to find out that in this case, in this context, the measurement feels a whole lot like basic arithmetic. For example, so each journal weighs about 280 grams. What is the total weight of three journals? So in this case, I'm going to kind of represent this with a tape diagram. I don't have to because it doesn't say I have to, but I'm going to. Uh, so there's my three journals, and I'm going to just label this as 280 grams, 280 grams, and 280 grams. So that tells me I have a choice. Uh, I can either add 280 three times. And if I do that, I get... 840 grams, or if I'm so inclined, I can do 280 multiplied by 3. Now, third graders probably don't know how to do this yet, but it's always an option for some, some of our students who um, are ready for that, in which case we would get uh, 600, 840, of course. There's a whole variety of ways we could have done this. Uh, students, and by the way, as long as we're talking about it, uh, students could have said, well, let's take 280 plus 280, plus 280, and we could have added the 200s and get 600, and then we could have added 80 plus 80 plus 80 and get 240, uh, because some students might prefer it that way, and 800, we would get 840 grams. So there's a whole variety of ways we could have, um, our third graders could have solved that problem. And our last example in this video, Miss Rios buys 430 grams of strawberries, so uh, that's less than a kilogram. We might as well throw that out there and add to our schema. Um, 453 grams of strawberries. She has 23 grams left after making smoothies. How many grams of strawberries did she use? So I'm going to draw a tape diagram because this is a classic opportunity to uh, use a tape diagram. So our our whole, the entire bar, represents the 453 grams, and she makes a bunch of smoothies. So I'm gonna, this is the representation of the smoothies, and we don't know how much she used, so I'm gonna put a question mark, but we sure do know that when she's done, she has 23 grams left over, and whenever this, the, um, the tape diagram looks like this, that generally means we're gonna subtract, so our whole, is 453, and our part is 23, and then we're going to subtract, and we get 430 grams is our missing piece, 430 grams. And so that's less, uh, grade 3, module 2, lesson 8, where in the, in the act of solving one-step word problems using measurement, it really feels a whole lot like arithmetic.